Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers, and today we're gonna see a challenger about modules with Java 9. So let's figure out how um, we can develop with modules, which makes our applications uh, lighter and more encapsulated. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you. So here you can see that we have two modules, Simpsons and Executor. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the classes from those uh, both modules. We have here uh, a very important file when we are working with modules, that is the module-info.java. So here we can see that on the module of Simpsons, we are exporting con.characters to the executor module. So you can see here that we can specify also where we want to export our package from our module, okay? And if we want to export to everywhere, we can just remove that, okay? So this is uh, the Simpson class, and you can see that we have the method drink beer, and we receive a string name, and if the string name is equal to Homer, then our beers are gonna be empty because as you know, Homer drinks a lot. So, and here, uh, if, it's not Homer, uh, we throw an exception. We throw an error, better saying, okay? And here, there's just the method do. Uh, that's it for this uh, module. Oh, actually, we have this uh, IML file as well. So this file might be a bit tricky. I was having some errors with IntelliJ. I had to change it manually, but I believe we, we shouldn't worry about this one. But unfortunately, I had to change it manually maybe the IGs are still not very mature with the concept of modules with Java. So, and we also have the executor module. So we have here the, the file module-info.java and this module is requiring the Simpsons module. That means that this module requires this other module. Yeah, it's just, very intuitive. And if this module is not there, it won't compile, okay? And uh, yeah, we also have the IML file, and here's the, the executor class, where we invoke um, the method the, and then we use uh, reflections here, and we get the drink beer method, and then we invoke this method by reflection. So I'm gonna give you some time to think, and then feel free to reach out with the answer when you're ready. Okay, guys, so, are you ready to see the answer? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so let's run it. -na -na -na. Okay. Oops. Yeah, you are partially right, uh, Ronaldo. I'm gonna I mean, give you a chance. If you give this answer right to me, I'll give you uh, this challenger as right. So why okay. this exception was thrown? Uh, so what I thought is when you export a class from a method like you were doing, it it's only exports like public methods. You don't have like permission to alter uh, and, and methods to be like you like you did set accessible through. Uh, I, I don't know why. I mean, I think it's some security concern. Yeah. You would have to go to the modules file and export something else like I think that should be uh, some keyword for you to, to write on the module file to, ex to also to also make like private methods accessible like this. Perfect. But, I mean, You're right. That, that's just a, a pretty wide guess. I'm, I never use this. Okay, so Ronaldo, you're right. Uh, that's exactly the reason. Uh, it's because when we use modularization, we have a strong encapsulation, so we can't just uh, access a private field or a private method without having the permission granted by uh, the module, okay? So that's a really good benefit by using modules because it makes our applications more secure and we can't break encapsulation so easily like this, which didn't happen with Java in the older versions. So without modules, we can access whatever field or method we want by using reflections. So that's a really good feature when we are using modules. 
because it makes uh, our application more um, under control by us and just not liberating all the access that uh, should be private. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to grant the access of reflections. So basically we have to tell the module to open that to uh, the executor module. So we have to use this command called opens. Then we specify our uh, package. And then if we want to specify our module, we just do it here. And then when we run here, then Rodrigo would be right. So let's just confirm that. Yeah, perfect. So remember that when we are using modules, we can't break encapsulation unless we say here, explicitly that we want to open this package to the executor module. But for example, if we want to open up to our other module, we can just remove that. Then it will be opened for everyone. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna show you uh, very quickly how to create modules on uh, IntelliJ. So you have to, okay, so let's see here the example of creating a module. So you can either use the shortcut from IntelliJ or you can just click with the right button here and then you create a new module. Then you choose Java and then you give just any name to your module, test module, for example. And then you're gonna have your module here. So when you use modules with uh, IntelliJ, there are still some small bugs. So for example, um, here we would, would have a test module name so for example, when I created uh, those other modules here, I had to add a dependency here because I was having an error. So I had to do that manually with IntelliJ. So you might have some bugs like that as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with uh, modules. Do you have any questions regarding uh, this challenger? No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. and. Uh, Okay, that's it for this challenger then. Uh, so thank you everyone for uh, participating and uh, I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay guys, so that was the challenger about uh, modules. So it's a very important concept. You can see uh, this concept in many other uh, frameworks. For example, Angular use that massively. So you have to understand how to work with uh, modules, how to export a module, how to import a module and uh, yeah, it's, it's the very same concept. Um, and remember that with modules, we can make Java much lighter because we don't need to import the whole JDK because the JDK is very complex. There are uh, many, many classes, many uh, libraries that we really don't need it. And with modules, we, we can make our application really light. And also we can reinforce encapsulation because for example, as you saw on this challenger, you can't simply just access a, a field that is private by reflections. You have to give access into your module-info.java. Okay, so that's it for this challenger. If you want to know more, you go to nobugsproject.com and then there's a section there called uh, Java Dev Gym. And then you can take uh, challengers uh, every week. I'm gonna be launching them every week and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, please give a like and get subscribed as well, because uh, by doing that, we're gonna be able to watch better and better videos because they're gonna be improving the channel, okay? So that's it for uh, today and uh, see you next time.